All right, this is one of the little updates that I'm gonna be doing. I've been out all day looking for a spot. I think I found the location that's not terribly far from my house. It was just chatting it up. Very interesting. There are so many segments to the car business. I was chatting with a guy who primarily just deals with Range Rovers. He sells 30 Range Rovers a month. 30. That's all he does. He didn't even parking lot. He, I mean, you know, he, he's got a Maserati. He's got a Bentley. He's got some older cars. But essentially moving 30 Range Rovers a month. And he says he does it mostly on the internet. So there's a lot that's going to go down. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty excited because we're going to be able to create additional cash flow really interesting so i got a building i got to call doraville i got to do i got like monday's going to be super busy because i found a few spots that i feel will work and you know just stopping at dealerships a lot of them were busy and like the guy who was uh, doing the internet sales he had one customer there and dude didn't look stressed at all that's one of the things that i've noticed about these dealers they're all of them are like relaxed they're like eh, you know we're out here doing it and uh i got a friend guy who's invited me on a road trip uh, essentially you know he sold 100 cars last month and you know there there's a uh, there's a pathway here because essentially I'm kind of going to go back to the Toro thing. I'm going to get me a proxy and I'm going to buy I'm, the goal is to get up to 50 cars on the Toro system. Okay. Cash flow, cash flow, cash flow because my first location that I'm going to rent um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting because it's got a garage. Well, hopefully, because there's no leasing sign up, but it has a garage. So I'll be able to do some fixing up and stuff there. And essentially what I want to do is go ahead and take this time because there's a spot in Sandy Springs. So what I foresee happening is me renting an office complex and running the rental car business to generate cash flow. Cash flow is really, really key because um, a lot of people get in the car business and they go out of business because they don't understand cash flow. They don't understand how to buy and essentially like this guy who sells Range Rovers, he has a lot. He sells 30 Range Rovers per month. He's got a shop. He's got people to fix the Range Rovers. He bought a G-Wagon for himself that has issues. He said he got the G-Wagon for 60. You know, it's worth like 120. Um, there, there, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that you can do. So this is gonna be a really interesting business. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of little short videos, updates, talking about what's going on. And for those of you in the corporate toolbox and those of you in the art of holding, you're going to get the behind the details, behind the scene details as I uh, put all this together because I think this is going to be extremely lucrative in about three years. Now, why do I say three years? Like first year, it's just going to be building the business. First year two is going to be building the business. And my plan is I'm not going to take any money out of the business those those first two years i'm not looking to take money out the business so i will be able because once again i go ahead and get let's say 40 cars to rent and then i take these 40 cars after i have bought them at the auction i've got them on the road i'm making money with these cars then i sell these cars after they have earned what I have paid for them back. 
So then I can upgrade the rental cars. So there, there's a, there's a, there's a path here, and I'm going to have a written proposal on how I want to do this and how I want to set this up. But yeah, this is going to be Gucci. This is going to be Gucci, and you know I'm going to stay out to next week. I am going to. Um, <laughs> this is funny. I am going to use the address of one of these spots for the LLC. Because I'm not going to use my house. And then I'll just do an administrative change to the address later on. Because I'm not going to do it for my house. But I'm going to set up the uh, LLC. Um, oh, I got to um, email the banker. Got some questions. I'm going to start developing business credit. And essentially... I'm probably not going to get this thing started until June because there's all these little steps I got to do. I got to go ahead and get my surety bond. I got to find a, a spot, a location. I got to get my business license. But once I get that dealer's license, that opens up the door for me getting into cars at a wholesale level to put into the rental market. And that's going to be really really important that's going to be extremely important because i will be able to get cars at a wholesale level versus having to get cars at a retail level and like right now um there's a bmw i know a guy has for sale he's selling it for 22 23 he only paid 15 for it. That's huge. So let's say I go ahead and buy this BMW, right? And I put it on the rental market because it's a convertible. And I go ahead and um, I rent it for three months. And during those three months, it makes makes 3,000, it makes $9,000 a month, okay? $9,000 over three months or four months. Let's say four months, it makes $12,000. I only paid 15 for it, okay? So I can do that vehicle as a buy here, pay here vehicle, and they have to put $3,000 down. And I don't have to worry about losing any money. And if I have to repo it, repo it, put another $3,000, because you know, and this, this is something else too. Um, the repo man, just like they're banning foreclosures, there's a hold up on the repo man. So cars at, at car auctions are sky high because there's just not as much inventory and everybody's got sales because everybody's got the stimulus money, right? So I'm learning, you know, because essentially I, I got to say that, you know, like car dealers get like a bad rap, but just sitting there. I've, n I've not had a problem talking to one of these guys. They've been like, oh, this is my numbers. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm selling. You know, they're very open, very transparent, very helpful. So I don't think the car business from a dealer to dealer type deal is as cutthroat as, um, you know, I, I don't know. Cause like I said, none of these guys, these guys have been very helpful. Uh, telling me numbers and stuff been very very helpful so this is going to be interesting because I'm going to prove my thesis because let me give you to math like I go ahead and I get this rental car business I got enough money to buy 25 maybe 30 cars depending on what I buy okay so I do that and I go in and I have 30 cars on the platform immediately and then I because I, I've been looking that should be like twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month rental income okay then I'll take that money and I'll buy some more rental cars so for those few months each month I'll buy more and more cars so essentially let's say thirty thousand gets me three maybe four cars you know three 
okay cars and for a real cheap car that I can put on the road for 25 bucks per month, right? So four cars a month, 12, 12 more cars in three months, that's 42. So in six months, I should be up to 50 cars. 50 cars, that's my goal. I get up to 50 cars and then just see how that goes. See how that goes. So that's what's going on in the car business. That's what we're doing. And uh, I anticipate getting this thing started by June. Now, if I get a lot, because it depends, if I get an office spot where I do the car business, um, that's going to be different than if I get a lot. And this one spot I get, it's like, it, it shouldn't be that much. It shouldn't be that much for me to get this spot. Because if I can get this spot, what I would do is keep it for the rental cars. Because I, I would separate the rental business from the car business. And I would keep the, the lot for the rental business. And then I would move into another location to sell cars. So essentially I would have two locations within the first year. So I'm just sitting here, you know, kind of thinking, kind of thinking, running it through my head. Because if the rental business is doing 40, 50,000 a month, so that's going to be half a million a year, okay? So this business will give me income to plow into the used car business and I'm not going to have to worry about certain things because um, what this will do is give me cash flow to pump into the new car, to use car business. So I would have like $40,000 in this one spot it's going to be like um, fifteen thousand per month. So if I'm making forty, and essentially I can have twenty five thousand, and I'll have fifty cars to um, start with, because once these cars earn what I pay for them at auction, I'm just going to sell them. And I'm going to put them in a buy here, pay here situation. So there, there's a lot of things to consider, a lot of things to set up. And um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting. All right. So that's your update today. I will talk to you guys in the next one.